Chris with HobbyKing.com with an exciting product we're going to talk about today. Actually, it's another Afro ESC, but this is a special ESC. It's a long time in the, the making. It's actually the Afro HV, high voltage. It's, it's capable anywhere between three and eight cells. Um, now, what makes this special is obviously the high voltage components that went into it to handle high voltage. But unlike most high voltage ESCs out there that have been attempted for multi-rotor use, this one is actually running the Simon K software, a variant of Simon K, uh, to be able to handle this. Problem is, is that uh, uh, Simon K is what's known as a, a responsive or fast ESC, and it changes the motor uh, RPM very rapidly. And a standard uh, voltage is uh, that's okay, but as soon as you go into higher voltages, that higher voltage allows an inrush of current, and it destroys most ESCs. So therefore, uh, it's been kind of a limiting factor on multi rotors. The max you've been really able to see out there is 6S, and, and most of the 6S systems are running on standard Arrow ESCs. Until now, we've got this one right here. We went to uh, Time Cop and Simon K and said, hey, we really want to tap into these high efficiency motors, the 6 and 8S setups, and uh, we want an ESC for that. So a year in the making, here we are right here. We've uh, built it, we've tested it, we've refined it, and we're finally able to release it to the public. Now, the hardware on this was actually designed for 12S, but as a margin of error, we rated it between 3 and 8 cells. And uh, a lot of people out there might not realize, well, why would I even want an 8S setup or a 6-cell setup on my multi-rotor? And the key word is efficiency. Higher voltage equals efficiency if done properly, as well as other benefits. The higher the voltage, the lower amperage for the same number of uh, uh, the same amount of resistance. If you're familiar with uh, Ohm's law or watts being put out, so what that means is a motor that was pulling four amps before on four cells at eight amps would be pulling you know uh, 1.2 two amps. Now what that means you get to run lower gauge wire, lower amperage ESCs such as this. This is a 20 amp ESC and a lot of you out there with uh, 680 quads or bigger that are flying on 30 amp ESCs might say, hey, that's not a big enough ESC, but actually it's more than ample because as voltage goes up, like I was saying, amperage goes down. So it's not really an issue. A 20 amp ESC is actually uh, more than capable up to 800 uh, millimeter quads. So other than that, uh, you, you also get a benefit from lower C rating. So as the amperage goes down, you can use lower C rating batteries, which saves you a lot of weight. If you build a, an entire system from the ground up with high voltage in mind, you're able to achieve multi-rotors that are the same size as other ones, but much higher efficiency. And you're able to get outstanding flight times based off of that 45 minutes, one hour. There's a lot on the internet, a lot of information about it. You should definitely dig into it if you're thinking about building a system or, or you're, you're starting a multi-rotor from the ground up as of right now. You should definitely look at maybe just doing a high voltage system for it. Anyway, guys, this is the new Afro HV. It's up on the new items page. Definitely check it out. As always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.